Okay, it's okay. It's all right. Okay. Today, I'm the guest of honor, and uh, I'll be chatting a little bit about uh, my work with Global Citizen and National Geographic and Procter & Gamble. And of course, I'll be giving the keynote address. What color are you not drinking? He's on a diet or something. <laughs> I love it when Pinky's here, when Sveso's here, they are my family, they make me happy. Um, I always feel like my left leg is missing when Pinky's not around me and who knows where they've been, I'm just happy they are here. Yeah. So without wasting much time, I'd like to ask you to help me welcome one of the the three ladies were with me. We visited them at the primary school last year with Global Citizen and PNG. They were some of the girls that we spoke to during one of our high school visits. I spent a day with them, myself and Gail King, and it's very nice to see them. Uh, we've touched about 30,000 girls in South Africa. We've donated over 3 million pairs, I think, absolutely. <laughs> It's exciting, you know, there's something very fulfilling about doing this kind of work. And I'm glad I always get the opportunity to spearhead such powerful and important conversations. I don't have children of my own, but um, there's something very fulfilling when you do work like this. You, you go home and you just feel whole, you know. And the panel of ladies on stage are a team of wonderful women all the way from Global Citizen right down to Procter & Gamble. We're chatting a little bit more about our Keeping Girls in School program. Thank you once again for being here, and uh, we trust you will leave activated. Have a wonderful evening. Show done. Feels so, so great. Uh, another wonderful event, you know, in the bag. How are you? I'm Bonan. Mwelechi. Mwelechi. From where? From Limpopo. Oh, how old are you? I'm 26. Oh, what do you do? I'm a trainee channel accountant and business based. Yes, girl. <laughs> That's what I do. And I do a whole lot of community work. Like, what are you passionate about? I'm passionate about education and girls, yeah, yeah, yeah. rural development. Fantastic. Because I'm from rural areas. So that's what I'm trying to bring about. And my issue now is how do we make it accessible to people in rural areas? Because I'm one out of a thousand there. Okay. And I'm here because, you know, I got great marks, and I'm, but I'm just one out of a million you know, that yeah. are representing. And how then do we make it more accessible? How do you guys recognize education? education in rural areas? Everywhere I go, I meet wonderful young women with great stories. And uh, I always love to, you know, pause and hear what they have to say. This is where I find all my inspiration from. You know, the, the reason why I'm so I'm so passionate about education, because that's what you said, that education changed your life. It does, it did. I mean, turn my life around. Like, five years, Look, I was no. just a rural girl. Now I'm the great you know, but I'm driving America. I mean, like, it's... Yeah. Some rural areas yeah. and I mean, we've had rural areas without yes. program. So let's see if maybe we can shift the program closer to where you stay. To, to, okay. to where okay. I stay. Send me a DM. Okay. I'll do that. Thank There's you so time much. and things. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I asked her to stay in contact with me because we're always trying to find new places and spaces to touch. And I always feel like interactions like this are not a coincidence, you know? Well, that was fun. 